Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for Solo Leveling Episode 4. This episode, Sung Jin Woo uh, became a player and began training, going through his training regimen after he first ignored it and then had to deal with the punishment of running away from a giant centipede for literally four hours. So now we've gone into a instance dungeon, which is essentially a dungeon that opens up for just Sung and uh, he's able to go in and level up um, when nobody else can see what's actually going on. So, uh, then he took out a couple goblins, he actually killed some goblins for once, and now he's against this, like, wolf-type creature with a metal mouth, and, um, he's <laughs> struggling, to say the least. So, we'll see how he levels up, we'll see how he takes us out in this episode. Uh, per usual, feel free to check out the Discord and Patreon, links are in the description. Both of those, uh, Discord, we talk about any shows, we talk about this show, we talk about Danger to My Heart, whatever you can imagine. It's just an overall really fun time. And then, uh, feel free to check out the Patreon as well as you wish. Of course, typical reaction channel stuff on the Patreon, you get uncuts, whatever it may be, whatever, um, uh, you would want from a reaction Patreon. <laughs> but feel free to check out either of those of your own will. So without further ado, let's hop straight to Solo Leveling, Episode 4. A Steel Fanged Lycan. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so his weapon also broke, so he's kind of in a really, really bad situation. Oh my god. What on earth is he doing? It's that strength buff. My man's just hopping around like it's nothing. Is he just gonna punch it? Oh my god, he just... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, my man, you like... Seriously buffed your strength, so it's reasonable that it's gonna... Pack a pretty strong punch. <laughs> my man is literally throwing hands with a wolf. He is literally throwing hands with a steel-mouthed lichen. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do. You max your strength, but the punchers still aren't taking this thing out. You could wail on it as much as you want. It's not going to do nothing. Oh! My man's going to pull out a sword from his inventory. What the heck? When did he get... He just now realized that he had that? Oh! I thought Kim said he paid three million for it? Yeah, wait. Oh! That's right, Kim dropped his sword. Kim literally dropped his sword when they were in the double dungeon. Uh, or whatever they called the place with the god or whatever. He dropped his sword when he sprinted and ran out. So it took that sword and put it in Sung's inventory. Wait, that's- <laughs> That's so cool. Now you have him. Oh. His injuries just healed. You gotta up- what? Is his strength stat not upgraded enough? Oh, What, they're like dodging him? Oh god, and it caught his sword. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so cool. <laughs> Screaming chew on something else to a dungeon wolf. I mean, yeah, I've- <laughs> To be fair, fighting anything other than that god, I feel like, is gonna be naturally a tad bit easier. <laughs> oh, it's running away. Interesting. That's not like a game at all. Because typically in a game, once they aggro on you, you have to fight them, or it's either you fight them, or you run away. But that one just ran away from him. Ah. So every time he levels up, it heals him. Probably a lot. Yeah, you're doing all those crazy flips earlier. <laughs> I mean, you were like quite literally throwing hands with the wolf earlier. <laughs> I would assume so. Oh. Makes sense. An instance dungeon would be... What the heck? <laughs> that is like a game. <laughs> I like that. That is actually like a game. 
It's like in games, they want you to like play the game before you start just trying to sell all your items and whatever it may be, because they don't want you to, or, they, well, usually I guess games will allow you to sell stuff. They don't want you to go and waste all your money on items. You have no idea what they do or things like that, so they force you to like, wait till you're level 5 or level 10 before you can like enter the shop and like buy stuff. Uh, that's so realistic. It's clear the author of this has played a good bit of games, uh, in his day. I don't know why I uh, ended that sentence weirdly. Okay, she'll just have to level up until you can. She has to keep leveling up until you're able to beat it. Ooh, there's another like in there. Oh! Oh my god, are we serious? What the f*** you do about that? That's at least like 20 of them there. At least. Oh, down goes one. Oh! Oh my god! He is f***ing him up! Okay! Okay, Song! I'd feel guilty if I killed you too fast. Yeah, showing his awakening back here. Ooh! For as long as we're alive, as hard as we can. Look at him level- oh my god, he's leveling up so much! That's at least like 10 or- 10 or more level ups. Title Wolf Assassin. Is it about to enter dungeon break? What was up with that? Why is it like, sparking so much? Oh. My. God. The blood is like, painted all over the walls. Oh god, I hate games like that. Even if it's realistic. Oh, did he get a teleportation stone? A title given to those skilled at hunting wolves, animal type monsters, all abilities plus 40%. Okay. Um, what I, what I was saying was, even if it's realistic that your weapons break, I hate games that do that. God, it's just the worst. I so much more love games where you buy, like, a weapon or something, and you're able to use that weapon for as long as you want, other than games where you have to constantly be making new weapons. It is just the worst. <laughs> a traveler's cloak. What does the cloak do? What kind, of, what kind of buffs do you get from the cloak? Might as well take the chance till you're exhausted, and then last second if you're about to die, then use the teleportation stone. Yeah. I have a feeling it will. That's usually how, like, these things work. It's like a one-time use, and if you leave, it's over. I, I really want to know how this god is involved with this. How on earth did he make Sung a player and... So, there's so many questions that still need answering. But I agree with his decision, because he may never be able to come back here and level up as easy as he is right now. Oh yeah, we, she never um went to... Oh god. So they just let it go to a dungeon break? Why did they not send anybody in to, to handle it? That's weird. I'm sure we'll get an explanation for it. I, she, I guess she left the other day. It looked like she went in there to so talk to sock to Sung. To talk to Sung. But, like, she left. She, like, saw him out there training and left. My guess is that she's annoyed that even after being essentially near death, that he is out there training again to go back into the dungeons. My, I have a feeling she's upset at him for that, because after nearly dying, she probably wants him to not go into the dungeons again, because she still thinks that he's weak. Which we know to not be the case anymore, but... To her, she, he still is. So the fact that he nearly died, and then is now still training to go into the dungeons again, I'm sure she's a little annoyed about that. And that might be why she didn't go talk to him last episode. Are all the other groups like... Oh god. Damn. A black shadow Razan. <laughs> that sword really isn't gonna hold on much longer. You better have that teleportation, uh... Thing ready. What do they call it? A teleportation crystal? Better have that ready. Wow. That's so cool. That's actually so cool. Take the woman's down here. You see, I would be terrified in this situation, but I think the best course of action is to go down there, see what it is and then teleport out of there or just run away if things get too bad but then again it could be like one of those situations in a game where you enter a boss fight and you begin the boss fight and you're totally unable to leave after that it might be one of those situations so i can't really say for certain what i would do there 
He's going. Like I said, just have that teleportation crystal ready to go. The atmosphere here is so good. I love it. I love the atmosphere they're setting up with, like, the ruined metro. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What is this thing? Okay, yeah, time to... Time to... Hey, Jin. Sung Jin Woo. It's time to get the hell out of here. Let's teleport out. Yeah, good. Oh, it's on equal footing with him. It looks like it'd be really damn strong, but it's on equal footing with him. Yeah, it might be time to teleport out, really. Oh my god, he's still gonna fight it. Wow. You're a better man than I am, Sung. I would have left already. Yeah. Oh my god, it's coming in for seconds. God damn, this looks crazy. It's on, and you say it's on equal footing with him? In what world? Holy sh- He just tossed an entire train at him! Oh my god, the animation. To be fair, okay, let, let's take the let's take several things into consideration here. He said one hit and I'd be dead. That's clearly not the case. He got smacked around several times there and he's okay. Like he's like it said, he's on equal footing. One singular hit is not gonna take him out, despite their size difference and how strong the snake might look. The orange text signifies they're on the same level or maybe it signifies that it's a little bit difficult for him uh, and then red is like this thing's way above your level you shouldn't be fighting this right now so it's one of those situations but either way one hit didn't take him out so it is possible to kill this thing i don't know if it's possible with the janky sword he, like janky half sword he's got going on right now but it is 1000 percent possible to take this thing out like it, it wouldn't say they're on equal footing if it wasn't possible for him to take it out you got those healing potions ready? I don't like all this dust. My god. This beast looks so cool. Don't end the episode there. Oh. Is this after they got out of the double dungeon? So Song came and talked to him? Okay, they didn't show us his arm, so that doesn't help me. That doesn't really help me clarify whether it's before or after the double dungeon. Because if they would have showed his arm, I would have been like, Oh yeah, so he talked to him after, but obviously can't can't tell. I, I think it's before, though, if I had to guess. But what, what I think is that this happened before mainly because Sung Jin Woo has been essentially locked up in the hospital. He's just been training every day and this is like the first time he's gone out from the hospital and he instantly went to the instant instance dungeon. The way that he said the nickname, he said the weakest hunter of all time. He said it as if like it was the first time Sung Jin Woo was ever hearing this nickname people were giving him. So this is probably early on in his hunter days. Ooh, nice landing there. Okay, not- that's not so nice. God damn! See, look how he's not taking much damage, though. Like, he's not taking much damage here, all things considered. Ooh. But when faced with the strong, none of it will save you. Woo! I love this. His voice actor is f killing it. Like, actually killing it. I love- I- I also love the bareness of that speech there. No, like, if I'm- if I'm like all these things, then maybe I can become stronger. It's like, no. Kindness and all of those other attributes mean f Nothing when you're faced with somebody who's stronger than you. All you can do is quiver in fear and grovel at their feet. So what do you gotta do? You gotta become the strongest. I really like that. Whoa! Whoa! What'd he just do? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, this looks so sick. He actually got it in the scale there. Oh my god. Oh, there went the sword. 
He's still holding on. So you're gonna. Oh my god! This looks crazy! Oh my god! Slammed him straight through the pole. <laughs> Holy sh. Oh my god! That was so sick. That was so sick. Oh my god. If fights are gonna look like that in this series, all the blood and the screaming, goddamn man. I'ma love it. Now it's time to use that teleportation Chris. Actually, no. <laughs> a bit stronger is a way, is definitely, definitely one way to put it, is calling yourself just a bit stronger. Yeah, you're not totally overpowered at this point. You're just, just a tad bit stronger after defeating this ginormous, what is it called? A blue fanged ka kasaka. I guess we're, we're heading out of the instant. I was going to say use the crystal, but clearly he beat the boss so he's done with the instance dungeon time to go uh maybe buy us i don't know if the shop maybe he's leveled up and out leveled up enough now to where he could use the shop and maybe buy a better weapon whoa that's definitely the dagger he's using in the op made from the fangs oh it's a c rank and it gives it drains a negative one percent hp every second and then it also par paralyzes an opponent damn that's a pretty powerful dagger kasaka's venom gland that acquisition difficulty a rank category poison kasaka kasaka's armor scales physical damage negative 20 damaged muscle strength minus 35 percent the pouch contains refined kasaka poison on rare occasions you can harvest this from a, from a kasaka once you drink it your skin will harden but your muscles will permanently permanent will be permanently permanently damaged permanently so your skin will harden but your muscles so you get permanent uh, you get a permanent defense buff but a permanent negative strength buff or i guess it doesn't even say that you permanently get a defense buff it only says you permanently your your muscles will be permanently damaged it says that is the only permanent thing so maybe the defense isn't even permanent which would suck i wouldn't use that either we'll now revert to its original state let's see is he just gonna appear in the yep just appeared in the metro my man is just carrying around a giant dagger oh he didn't even pick up his bag that he left in there he just walked out without it whoa yeah what the oh god They've got, like, the military here? Is that how bad this dungeon break is? Hopefully, Juhi's okay. It'd be really tragic if we go and she's just dead here. And I'd also be a little bit annoyed. <laughs> is Sun gonna get to show off here a little bit? Ooh! Oh my god. I think he's fighting this thing in the opening, is he not? Bro, these, this is this is too realistic, though. That's actually too realistic. It's so unbelievably f stupid that they're here with this giant beast taking pictures of it, but it's so realistic. That is so realistic, it's hilarious. You know damn well if there's a giant beast like this in the middle of a city, there's gonna be some absolute dumbass. Like, at this point, people are acclimated to the fact that dungeon breaks are gonna happen. People are acclimated to that. These things have been around for 10 years now, these dungeons. Dungeon breaks have happened many times before, so people are used to it at this point. They're used to the hunters going in to handle it and take care of it. So at this point, they feel protected by the hunters, so they go out and like, start taking pictures of it. That's too realistic. You know damn well people in our world would do the same exact thing. A giant beast appears. It's been a couple years since they started appearing. People absolutely would go out there and like, take pictures of like the hunters fighting and like post it to Instagram or some shit. I'm also pretty sure this is the th this is the thing Sung Jin Woo fights in the opening. I might be wrong about that. You would think we'd have more. Uh... Yeah. Woo! Man, Jin Woo's so confident now. What on earth? And Juhi's there. I feel bad for her, man. Sog, you want to go step in here and help? Oh, he's, he's not using the new dagger he got. Oh my god! 
Oh, no, they're gonna cut it off. We have to wait till next episode. Oh my god, he's gonna throw the sword. Damn! This is a D rank boss, are you serious? In what universe is this a damn D rank boss? I was wrong. I was wrong in saying that this is what he fought in the opening. I'm not sure if he wants to keep his abilities secret and that's why he decided to just throw the sto throw the sword instead of stepping in to help them fight. I'm not quite sure why he wouldn't just go in there and help take it out himself, but he did help by throwing the sword at it. So this is clearly it, the beast in the OP kind of looks like this, the same like blue lines and like rocky structure. I think it looks similar to the one in the OP. Just a good old dagger. Wait, they didn't even kill it? Are you serious? They didn't actually kill it? Sung Jin Woo's dagger killed it? He threw the dagger at it, it hit it in the forehead, and it died from that? I thought they, like, started wailing on it after that and took it out with a bunch of other attacks, but no. From what that guy just said there, it's a boss level golem that over 10 people can scratch got taken down by that. Which clearly means that that dagger, this newly made dagger, it was a sword, it's essentially a dagger now. That Sung Jin Woo threw at it, knocked it in the forehead, and took it out. <laughs> and he's gone. He is an E rank. Oh my god! How much more did he put into strength points? Or you have just leveled up that much. Ooh. Damn, she almost saw him. He was just a little too far away. Good ass episode. That was really good. That was... I really, really liked the second episode, but I think this is my favorite episode so far. Like, the speech about how um, kindness and all these other attributes won't get you anywhere. It's strength that matters, because no matter what, you'll always have to grovel and be in fear of the strong ones. And just, the voice acting was so phenomenal from, from Sung Jin Woo's voice actor. Like, he is a really damn good voice actor. And then the fight animation in this episode was utterly gorgeous. Just overall, I think, all-encompassing, this is probably my favorite episode. I really, really liked episode 2 as well, but all-encompassing, I think I gotta give it to this one to be my favorite of the series so far. He has leveled up tremendously after this one fight with the Kasaka, so overall, fantastic episode. I really don't have much to say in terms of, like, analyzation-wise. I don't think there wasn't, much to an there wasn't much to analyze this episode. He fought a bunch of creatures and leveled up as you would in a game, so there's not much to talk about right now. Uh, so I think that is gonna wrap up my reaction to Solo Leveling Episode 4. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all... Have a good day.